All right, Jim, our next question sent to corny drive through at gmail.com from Dave in the city of Ottawa. I was yeah, you, you caught a little bull here a few weeks ago. You didn't put it over any on the air, but apparently, did you call Ottawa a country a few weeks ago on the program? No, I did not. I was well, somebody said you did, or was that the, the complaint that they were having is that you positioned Ottawa as its own standalone? I don't think that's what they said, and I'm not going to correct the position because I'd rather you not know exactly what I said, and I don't even remember <laughs> what I said. But let's get back to this question from Dave in the city of Ottawa. I was watching an old demolition match recently and noticed Smash was wearing some pretty cool face paint. It made me wonder, were face paint guys traditionally responsible for designing and applying their own face paint? My guess is that now that WWE employs makeup artists, uh, my guess is that now, I guess he means now they, they are helped with that, but in the territory days, the guys did it all for themselves? Yes. Did they have someone else apply it for them? Did anyone ever lose a gimmick because they weren't artistic enough? Well, a lot of questions. Yet most of the guys that wore makeup, you'd see Hawk and Animal Barbarian, they'd be in the mirror painting their face. Um, Sting and... The thing is, at the Orlando Universal Studios for the TNA tapings, we would dress... Well, the, the guys had trailers for locker rooms, and most of the guys would dress there, but there wasn't a real great place to paint your face or whatever. So the point is most of the guys for a bathroom would come into the bathroom in the production building where we had the production meeting room and everything. And by the time the taping was over with, I couldn't imagine not only would mama Cornette have made me go out and cut a switch and striped my legs, but just, I can't believe that universal didn't kick us out us. I say TNA just for the, state that the bathroom was left in and there was red and white paint and blue paint and yellow paint all over the sink from everybody painting their face and the toilet paper not used to wipe your ass but just excess toilet paper and paper towels balled up thrown everywhere water tracked all over the floor from where they're taking showers just chaos uh but yes the guys painted their own faces now every once in a while the famous story, Lawler painted Kamala because Lawler was an artist and they gave Kamala the gimmick. It wasn't something he came up with. So Lawler started painting his face and, and then he painted stars because Kamala's a Ugandan warrior, right? And he's thinking, well, the warrior in the nighttime and everything. So he paints stars and moons on Kamala's chest and stomach, a half moon and a couple of white stars and everything. And Kamala goes and looks in the mirror and go, King, why'd you paint a banana on my stomach? He thought the half moon was a banana and he was a, a racial connotation. <laughs> Jerry said, that's a moon sugar bear. Anyway. So, but mostly, yes, the guys painted their own face and they came up with it. And, they didn't, I mean, it uh, being artistic helped a bit, but they didn't have to be necessarily real artistic because they weren't like recreating some famous painting. They were just painting their face in a way that they came up with. So who's going to tell them it's wrong? And, uh, you know, every once in a while, if they don't stay in the lines real good. It might look sloppy, but that it's, it's like if Vince McMahon wrestles at WrestleMania, I'm afraid his makeup is going to smear off and then we'll see what he looks like under the mask of Dorian Gray. But yeah, the guys did their own makeup and, 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 you know, had to carry that shit around and wipe it off and everything. That's why Sting started charging an extra five grand here a few years ago. If he does autographs, he'll wear the sunglasses. If he got to paint the face, it's another five grand. Did you have a favorite? Is there one guy that you actually liked the face paint on? Um, I mean, I, I accepted it with the road warriors because that was part of their gimmick and it didn't look you know, nothing about them looked funny. <laughs> or if it did to you, you'd kept it to yourself. You certainly wouldn't tell them. Uh, but it just, the face painting became such a goddamn thing when, uh, again, like the Rock and Roll Express, they got over and led to, you know, the imitators, the Midnight Rockers, and the 
the rock and roll RPMs and the stop and go express and whatever. When the road wars got over and the ultimate warrior up north, it led to everybody painting their face, which is why I banned face paint and Smoky Mountain Wrestling because it was a symbol of gaga bullshit entertainment wrestling at that point. It wasn't bad when the first, like everything else, it wasn't bad when the first guys that were real stars did it. And then everybody, the same, it goes back to masked wrestlers. Masked wrestlers, at one point, the reason why that there were a bunch of them is because they had traditionally drawn drawn money going back to the masked marvel in at the opera house in Philly in the fucking nineteen teens or whatever. Um, but then the promoters, especially Nick Goulas, this was his thing, figured out, well, I can take guys that I can pay as little money as possible to and put them under masks and make the masked guys over, but I can, they can be interchangeable under the mask or I can use the undocumented Mexicans and pay them very little money or whatever. And the mass got prostituted to the point where mass became synonymous with job guys. Cause every fucking jack off job guy had a mask, right? So then it meant nothing. And and all the guys like Mr. Wrestling 2 and the Destroyer and Mil Moscaris fucking loathed that kind of shit because they'd gotten the mask over to mean their their careers, and then these other guys are just wiping their ass on it. It's the same thing with face makeup. It's the same thing with teams called the Express, whatever. It starts out with somebody, one or two people gets it over, then everybody starts doing it, and then it becomes so done to death that it's synonymous with job guys.